Hello, my name is Ernie and I live in Massachusetts and I wanted to create this uh, video to share about my experience of how I chose Anna Maria College in Paxton, Massachusetts as my college to go to. Um, it was back in 2010 that I started as a student um, and I was in the fire science program, a degree that I completed and graduated with in 2014. And this will be a very raw video um, of all the skills that I have. Uh, video editing is not one of them. Um, but I'm always sharing about my experience um, to my friends on social media. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a message that goes out to, you know, a lot of people that I went to college with or who have already been through college. And so while it's wonderful to share it with them, I thought it might be a good idea to share this message on YouTube to potentially uh, expose it to other people who might benefit from it. Um, and that's because back in 2010 when I was exploring colleges, I wish I had uh, videos like this to look, look at and uh, kind of get an insight into what the experience of an Anna Maria student is. Um, and so I wanted to share this. Um, I feel like I couldn't make a perfect video and I don't want it to be too long either. And so even after I post this, I know I'm going to think of things um, that I, I will say, well, I wish I would have said that in the video and uh, it may be too late to add it in. So um, even so, I want to offer a way um, for you to connect with me. So in the description below, I am going to include my email address. It's my email from Anna Maria, which I still use to this day. And I want to welcome you to reach out. If you have any questions, especially about Anna Maria College, I would love to further share my experience um, at the college and share um, what, what it's like there, and um, I, as well as I can help connect you um, with, with people from the college um, who can share their story as well. In fact, people like me, I'm going to share um, in a little bit how I still have a strong connection with Anna Maria College. I'm still very much present on the campus. And some of the people who work there actually were students there with me. Um, and so there's a lot of wonderful people um, that you can connect with um, to, to learn what it's like to be at Anna Maria College. And so it all starts in, in 2010. I was looking for a college to go to. I was a senior in high school. And it was um, January 24th, I specifically remember, because it's a, the birthday of a special friend of mine. And that afternoon, I think it was a Sunday, I applied to Anna Maria College thinking not much of it. You know, I knew I was looking for a college, and it was a friend of mine who my sophomore year of high school had shared the idea of Anna Maria College with me, but I didn't think much of it. But um, I ended up applying during January of my senior year of high school. <clears throat> and at the time, I was considering uh, two colleges. Like I said, I had planned to be a firefighter. I told everyone all throughout high school uh, that I was going to work as a firefighter. And so it came down to two colleges. I was considering a two-year community college in Maine, uh, which very quickly could have gotten me through, could have taken my classes and um, then gone through a fire academy and started working right away as a firefighter. Or I could have gone to a four-year college like Anna Maria, and Anna Maria was the one I was considering. And same same opportunities, but just would take a little longer uh, to complete the degree because it was a four-year bachelor's degree. And so I'm, I'm so glad that I chose Anna Maria. Um, not only because of what I learned in the classroom, it was a much more holistic experience, but the holistic experience outside the classroom. I have a feeling if I went to the community college, um, I may have been a commuter there, and I probably was only going to go for the classes. It was going to go very quick, um, but it was essential that I chose Anna Maria College. Went there, had a four-year experience. I was living on the campus, and I just had the best time uh, outside of the classroom especially, but also in the classroom with what I learned. And so what really made the difference for me is that I visited the campus. I, was, I, I remember dates very well. It was March 17th of 2010, St. Patrick's Day. It was an early release day, a Wednesday, um, at my high school. And my friend Mike, who was the one who introduced the college to me, our sophomore year of high school, he very thankfully, he brought me for a tour at Anna Maria College. And I'm very thankful for that because that's what kind of sealed the deal for me. Um, as soon as I got there, I knew that it was the right place for me. 
Um, and I have such great memories of that day of eating in the dining hall, meeting the president. They literally walked us through the building where the president's office is, and the president came out to, to greet us and talk with us for a little while. And I remember even before all that, when we got to the admissions office, um, my name was written on a whiteboard um, welcoming me um, for my uh, tour of the campus that day. These days, now I know that they have a TV screen um, with um, the names of uh, students who are coming for a tour. And it just felt so welcoming and I knew it was the right place for me. And I'm very thankful I got there because um, Without my friend Mike, I may not have been able to get there uh, to experience the campus, but I'm so thankful he brought me and made so much of a difference. And so I think my biggest piece of advice, if you're considering Anna Maria College or any college, is if at all possible to find a way to get onto the campus. Um, it can really help you to see, you know, if it's the place for you. You can really feel that if, if when you're on the campus. And Anna Maria to me is, is the most beautiful place, and I'm going to share a little bit more about that soon. Um, but it is the most beautiful place to me. Um, other than the ocean where I love to be, um, other than that, it is the most beautiful land that I know. And so I want to share about my experience there. I started, I was in the fire science program very happily, and I started, I remember my move-in day was Wednesday, August 25th of 2010. I showed up. It was new student orientation, which I had such a good time um, at, and uh, had such great roommates. They were they were partiers. They were they certainly were having a good time um, during freshman year. And um, even though I wasn't much, um, I wasn't personally much fun in that way. Um, I enjoyed being around others that were having um, so much fun, and uh, we really had a great time in the building that I lived in on campus in in our residence hall of alumni hall. A unique fact about me is, even though many students often end up in different rooms from year to year, I had lived in the same room on campus all four years of my experience there. I just got very lucky to be able to choose the same room each year during the room lottery for residence life each year. Um, it, it was the right place for me. It looked out right onto the campus. I could see a lot of the campus and it's just a beautiful view, especially in the winter time when the snow is falling. I absolutely love that that view that I had there. Um, but I had a great time and I very quickly got involved on campus. Um, and that's one of the big things that I loved about my experience at Anna Maria College. I, um, within the first uh, month, I was joined our Fire Science Association, a student club um, for students in the Fire Science Program, and the emer uh, you know other health emergency services programs joined that as well. Uh, within the, the first month or two, I ended up being the secretary of that um, club, and I carried that through. Um, I was on the executive board all four years there. My senior year, I changed from secretary to vice president because secretary is such a, a big job that I wanted to pass that on to a younger student so that they could grow their skills in that while I was still there and I could you know, kind of lead as, as a vice president. But I was also the president of um, a, a, one of our volunteer organizations on campus called Habcats. I got to assist with the hosting of blood drives on campus with the Red Cross and I got to plan and participate in such wonderful alternative break service weeks. So we would come back, a group of us students would come back early from um, winter break and or stay on, uh, on, on campus during spring break and we would participate in volunteer opportunities in the community. Sometimes we would travel to somewhere else, went to New Jersey one year, to Oklahoma another year. And it's, it's so amazing to do that. It's really nice, especially the Oklahoma trip in March of 2014. Uh, really nice to go from snowbanks on campus, even though it's spring break, it's still winter in New England during March, um, to go down to Oklahoma where it was reasonably warm. <laughs> it was a great experience. Uh, memories like that I just you know really loved. And I also love that I um, was a retreat leader for campus ministry during my time at Anna Maria College. And I got to plan and, and lead retreats for our own students, for my friends at the college, and for high school students locally. It was really fun. But the most, the, the most impactful experience for me, my most favorite time at college, um, was serving as an orientation leader, which I got to do in the summer before my junior year and the summer before my senior year. I just love Anna Maria so much that it felt so good to share that love 
with new students that were coming in and their families <clears throat> during the new student orientations that happened during the summertime. And that really carries through into their first year. You kind of end up being a mentor for students through their first year because they remember you as their orientation leader. <clears throat> so they connect with you even during their first year and beyond. And it's just a great experience. But it was through that experience that really led me to where I am now and what I do now. Um, although I was studying fire science, and in a moment I'll, I'll share how that did benefit me. I kind of, through my experience of working as an orientation leader, I kind of learned I really want to work with college students as a career. And so participating as an orientation leader had um, two opportunities. There was the general orientation leader, but also you could apply to work as an orientation leader for what's called the, the Summer Bridge Program, Esther's Dream. And that is a week-long program where new students who want to participate uh, get to come on campus and experience what it's really like. We plan so many fun events for them. And they even go through um, an experience where they can take a, a, a course. At the time, it was a writing course. Um, very light work, really, um, and doesn't certainly doesn't detract from the fun, but kind of shows them what it's like to be a student at Anna Maria College. Um, and just the fun that we had. I had such late nights and I loved it actually um, because I got to interact with the new students and uh, have fun with them and help them. Um, and I have so many stories I could share on that. Um, but that experience especially um, led me to realize that I wanted to work with college students. And so without sharing all the whole story um, from there, um, after I graduated from Anna Maria, I went off to graduate school somewhere else uh, to, to get a graduate degree in higher education administration. And now I work at another college in Worcester as an advisor for students. I, I work with a lot of nursing students especially. And where that ties in is my connection with healthcare. My fire science degree kind of took a little bit of a turn. I didn't abandon it completely, but um, I had the opportunity to take the EMT training course my, my sophomore year. Um, and after I graduated, I started working as an EMT in the city of Worcester, and I did that for a little over three years. And I had a lot of fun. I decided to, to put that aside and focus on my career in higher education now. But I had a lot of fun in my degree in fire science and my training as an EMT at Anna Maria really helped me. Um, and it helps me now still. Like I said, I, I'm an advisor for a lot of nursing students and I can really connect with them. I've literally been in, in healthcare emergencies. I've been in the hospitals and healthcare facilities. I've interacted with nurses and I know what it's like um, in many ways. And so it really helps me in the job I have now. So I feel very fortunate. Uh, to be doing what I do now and have it connect so much um, with my passions and what I studied in college. So it's very interesting because I didn't become a firefighter like I had it originally planned and I'm okay with that. I'm loving what I'm doing now but I would not have ended up where I am without my experience at Anna Maria College. So it, it was essential uh, again even though I didn't do exactly what I thought when I began it was essential I went to Anna Maria College and had the experiences I had and learn the things I learned to get me to where I am today and to be doing what I loved, what I love, and, and will, you know, I'm sure I'll continue, continue to love and evolve what I do um, through my career. Um, you know, lastly, um, I kind of want to share, I, I form friendships at Anna Maria uh, with people that um, have lasted and will continue to last people who I love very much and who have helped me get to where I am today. I have specific examples I could share of how friends I met there um, have guided me to where I am and what I'm doing today and provided a way for what I'm doing today. And so I'm so thankful for that. Um, I still am very much connected with Anna Maria College. <clears throat> I work there for the dining service still, a job that I started when I was a student there at Anna Maria College my sophomore year as a way to pay for my, my tuition and my bill. Um, and I've continued it until now as a part-time job that I do on the weekends. And I have so much fun. I just love going there. Not only because I love it there, but because I genuinely love that job and how I get to interact with students and others that are on the campus of Anna Maria College still to this day. So I was just sharing um, a few months ago in a meeting that I was in because I also participate in our alumni association. I was sharing how I feel so blessed to still feel like a, a valuable part of the community there. 
And the dining service is kind of like in the dining hall is some of my, my best memories, even as a student, even not working. Um, I absolutely love this event we would do every year, and they still do it. It's the annual President's Christmas Dinner. Um, and it's a very fancy dinner, very great experience. Um, students tend to dress up a, a little, and we have just an amazing dinner in the dining hall. And each class, freshman through senior, participates in a contest. Each class decorates a Christmas tree that's voted on by faculty and staff. And each class uh, writes a Christmas song that they perform at the dinner. Um, so me and all my friends, they were, you know, we would um, cr create a song. It was always based off of the, 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 the rhythm and the sound of a, a popular Christmas song, but we would change the words and often make it very funny. And um, I absolutely love that. And um, I believe my class won the Christmas tree contest um, three out of the four years that we were there. Maybe all four. At least three out of the four years. And it was just a lot of fun. And I have some great pictures um, from, from that event from each of the years. Um, but I love that, that event. Um, some other events that I loved is that... Um, even though I'm not much into sports and athletics, um, I did enjoy being at the football games on campus. Always an exciting time. And even to this day, um, when I go back for alumni homecoming reunion weekend, I am always at the, the tailgating at the football game that they always have during that weekend. Um, all my friends are there. People who are alumni now are there having a good time. Um, and it's, it's really great to, to see them there. And so I, I, I just have a strong connection. Um, with, with the football games, even though I never was um, big on, on sports. Um, I also love the volleyball games. When people ask me, Ernie, what sports you know do you like, if any, and it's not much, but um, I enjoyed going to the volleyball games. Definitely uh, is an active, an active sport um, that can hold my interest. Definitely people on the team who I have love, loved and um, appreciated seeing and um, a good time to attend those. So. Um, definitely a great experience there as well. Um, well so many great memories I have. Um, I know, again, like I said, when I post this, I'm going to think of something else I wish I would have shared. Um, but I am still very much connected with college, and I go there often. And um, even when I'm not there for work or to attend an event, there are times, um, especially even during the summer, too, when no one's there. It's such beautiful land, quiet and peaceful. It's loud and exciting when the time comes for it to be, like such as during reunion homecoming weekend. Uh, but there are other times where it's just so peaceful, and I love that. Um, to me, it's like my church. It's where I go when I need a peaceful, quiet place. Um, I've gone there when I needed help. I've gone there where I needed to reflect and where when I needed to make a, a big decision. You know, walking around the, the open land, it's such beautiful nature there. Like, like I said, you really need to get on the campus to see what that's like. And um, I just love it. Um, I was thinking this past summer, actually, that um, all the tuition that I paid, um, I would have paid all that even just for the experience of nature on campus, even just for that. Um, I would have paid all that um, because it's just beautiful and amazing and I love that I can still go back there and experience that. Um, it really is my favorite place to be. Um, I was blessed um, as a student there each year. I, you know, I was given some awards um, by the college and by the students um, in my class and um, one of them I remember, uh, without, I won't get the words right, but the, the award was specifically for compassionate service on campus um, and you know I give all the credit to that and I always have to um, the fact of I, how I loved it there and the, the passion that I had there and I always felt I got those awards because I was sharing that passion so much people saw that and that's what I think they wanted to recognize um, it's all because of the experience I had there and the passion that I had and shared and so I wanted to share this video. It looks like it's turned into about a 20 minute video and I think we'll cap it at that. Like I said, I know I, I, I haven't been able to share everything that I would have wanted to, but I am gonna include my email address below, so feel free to email me. I'd love to share more of my experiences and connect you with others. And check out some other videos um, from other students who have, have shared um, their experience. Um, I'm recording this in December of 2020, and as of right now, I know that there's a current student there uh, named Caleb, 
He has a channel called Caleb Wu TV, which I'll link below. And he shares, he has such great video uh, pro uh, editing and production skills, and he creates the best videos. I just love them, of his experience as a student on campus. And I, I'm going to link that below because I want you to be able to see that as well. And remember also my recommendation to get on the campus. It's a beautiful place to be, and you'll really get to see what it's like to be a student there. So with that, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching.